Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? It is currently, let's see what time it is. It is currently 4.12 p.m. on Monday afternoon. And you guys are gonna help me uh, do a little bit of work here today. <laughs> I need some lip gloss. Um, I am trying to get these videos uploaded. Oh my God, I just got this lip gloss all over my computer. I'm trying to get these videos uploaded. Um, and, oh, hi, Mr. Boo Radley. You wanna say hi to everybody? Boo Radley was just eating his dinner. Come here, honey. He's hiding under the chair. Come here, sweetheart. You wanna come say hi to everybody? He says, well, I guess. You wanna smell my lip gloss? <laughs> he said, I don't know what I think about that lip gloss, Dad. You're so sweet. He said, Dad, there were lots of storms last night. I don't like those storms. Those storms make me nervous. Look at your little fuzzy head. It's so cute, isn't it? Was your dinner good? Did you eat lots of your dinner? You did? He said, yeah, I had an early dinner tonight. Because my dad's have marriage counseling tonight, so I had to eat my dinner early. But it was good, wasn't it? So I'm trying to get uh, all my stuff done so that I can um, get in the shower and get ready <clears throat> and uh, get out of here in time for... Uh, an Uber to marriage counseling tonight because we have marriage counseling at 6, which means I have to leave here between like 5.15 and 5.20, which means I have to book my cameo at like 5 o'clock. So this is going to be a shorter vlog tonight, um, but I wanted to come on here and uh, talk to everybody. So hold on just a second. Let me check my videos and see where my videos are at right now. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. I was just watching my drama video back. Let me see what my videos are doing. Okay. Um, oh, my Peterisms video is done. Dun, 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 dun. So, how are you guys doing today? It is like not a pretty day in Indianapolis. It is, it like rained a lot last night and um, let me pick a thumbnail here really quick. Hold on a second. You hear my stomach? My stomach is churning. I am hungry. And um, last, oh, last night we went to go see the Barbie movie. And um, I have to tell you guys, I was not super impressed with the Barbie movie. I know a lot of people are like really loving it and stuff. And I, I've seen all these people that are like, I've seen the movie like four times. I love the movie so much. I don't know how y'all are sitting through this movie four times. I mean, it was okay. And I, I liked the message that um, the movie spoke about and things like that. It was a lot about women's empowerment and things like that. And I liked that aspect of it. I just didn't think that it was that great. Um, what I thought it would be and what it ended up being, here I turn the volume way down because I gotta check this real quick. What I thought it would be and what it ended up being were like two completely different things. Um, hold on a second, almost done. What I thought it would be and what it ended up being were two completely different things. Um, there were a lot of cute moments in it. There were a lot of funny moments in it. There was nobody, well, there was like one, there was like one dad and he had his daughter and like son and they were at the theater and they all had like pink t-shirts on and stuff. But other than that, there was like nobody that was dressed up. Like, you know, all these people are getting dressed up like Barbie and stuff like that. Actually, I, what happened is we were at brunch yesterday and Alex was like, oh, there's a seven and a nine o'clock show of Barbie tonight. Do you want to go see it? And I was like, mm, I don't, I kind of wanted to watch Big Brother. And he was like, well, if you don't want to see it, he was like, I've asked you a couple times, like, if you don't want to go see it, I'll just go see it by myself. And I was like, no, I said, hold on a second. I was like, no, I want to see it. Cause I did want to see it. Cause everybody was talking about it and whatever. So I was like, well, I, I want to see it. Um, so, I got my stuff done yesterday. I laid down for a little bit. And while he was watching the show, and before I laid down, I said, let's go to the 9 o'clock show. And he said, okay. So we went to the 9 o'clock show, got my butter popcorn, my big tub of butter popcorn, and my uh, Mr. Pib. And we sat in the movie, and there was a crying three- or four-year-old that cried through about an hour and a half of the movie. It was too much. I finally said something. Like, I'm not somebody that usually says something, but there weren't, like, tons of people in the movie theater last night. Our row, we were, like, in the first row. 
um, back, and it's like the you know the chairs are like the what do you call them? The, I won't call them the lazy boy chairs. You know where you can like the what are they called? I can't even think. But anyway, you know where you can like stretch out whatever. And so our row was filled, but then like the row behind us was, there weren't like tons of people, but there was like this kid, I mean this kid cried through the whole movie. I don't know why you're bringing a three or four year old to a movie at um, nine o'clock at night. And I know that there are people that are like, well, babysitters are expensive, or you can't get a babysitter, and if we wanna go see a movie, okay, that's fine, but you're ruining 30 other people's movie by your child crying for like an hour in the movie theater. Just take your child out of the movie theater for five or 10 minutes while they like run around and settle down and then bring them back into the movie. Um, I, I don't know, like for me, like my parents, like when I was like, if I cried in a the movie theater, which I don't remember ever doing, I don't remember being that young and going to a movie theater in all honesty, but, <clears throat> If I was in a restaurant or something like that, like, my dad would take me out and be like, if you continue to cry, we're going to leave, you know? Um, I don't know. I just think it's, you're disturbing all these other people. And there were so many people that were, like, kind of, like, continuing to, like, look over and be like, where is this kid? I mean, he literally cried for, like, an hour and a half in the movie. So, finally, I was like, could you take your child out of the movie theater? And, like, this woman behind me was like, yeah. <laughs> and then, like, the child finally quieted. They didn't take the child out of the movie theater, but the child finally quieted down in like 15 minutes after that, thank God. But, I mean, it was a long time. It wasn't just like five minutes. It was like almost, an, it was like an hour. It was like close to an hour over that that the child cried. But anyway, it, the movie was okay. It just, it wasn't really what I thought it, thought it would be. It was cute in parts. I just wasn't super impressed with it, in all honesty. And like, this is the thing, is like, I loved Barbies when I was growing up as a kid. Like, I played with Barbies, you know, and stuff like that. I loved Barbies, and there's a lot of like, like if you know a lot about Barbies, which I do, there's a lot of like funny things about Barbies. They kind of like thread through it, but there's a lot of funny moments to the sh to the movie. Um, but then it's like I said, it's also a movie about like women's empowerment and stuff like that. And um, I don't know. I actually thought that like Margot Robbie was good in it, but I actually thought that Ryan Gosling as Ken was better than Margot Robbie. Um, so anyway, but we saw that movie and then we came home and then um, I talked to Tanya on the phone for a while and then I watched um, Big Brother because it came, it was on last night. It's so good this season. So I watched Big, I mean, I haven't watched it in years so I'm real excited about watching it, but I watched Big Brother last night and then I watched, um, I started, I was like, I don't know what to start watching. So I started watching The Servant on Apple TV why do I feel like I watched something else first? I feel like I watched something else first. Some true crime documentary that was like an hour long or an hour and a half long. I didn't go to bed super late last night. I was like in bed by like 3.15 last night, which for me is not like, I mean, you know, I sometimes stay up five or six o'clock in the morning, so for me that's not like super late. I watched two and a half episodes of, Ser it's, is it The Servant or Servant on Apple TV? It's about this woman, this, is, this husband and wife, and they um, have this like nanny that they hire to take care of their baby. I don't want to like give it away because like within like the first 20 minutes you find out something about like this baby um, that I really was not expecting going into the show at all. The show is very bizarre. I honestly, like there's something about the show that makes me real uncomfortable. I'm not sure that I'm going to keep on watching it in all honesty. I mean, it's good, but it's not like that good. So I don't know that I'm going to keep on watching it. We'll see. I'll probably watch the whole first season. My review video is uploading. It has uh, three minutes left. I was filming cameos earlier, and like every cameo that I filmed wouldn't like upload to cameo. Like I kept on saying upload fail, and I would upload it again, and then it would get like halfway through, and then it would say upload fail. And I was like, what is going on with these cameos? Like I don't understand why it's not uploading. It's so confusing to me. I was like, I was like, why is this cameo not uploading? So I don't know. I'm gonna try it again. Um when I get off of here, but, um, so yeah, so that was last night, and then I got up today, and it stormed a lot last night, like stormed, like, Alex, or Alex, Boo Radley, Alex fell asleep, like, right, as we got home last night, Boo Radley was, like, up and down the stairs all night long, and the storms were, like, driving him crazy, and he was really antsy and stuff like that, which is so funny because, like, if it's storming and I take him outside, like, he's completely unaware that the storm is, like, going on as he's outside. It's, like, when he's inside and he can hear the storm outside is, like, when he kind of gets freaked out by it. 
So finally the storms kind of died down a little bit and I got him settled into bed and he started relaxing and all that kind of stuff. But, um, so yeah, so got him all settled down and then, um, oh, there's my true crime documentaries I was going to watch. Um, I'm going to make a thumbnail while I'm talking to you guys. So anyway, um, Doo, 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 doo. So then I got up today and um, I uh, started making videos because I knew that I had to get ready <clears throat> to go to our marriage counseling session and I was like, okay, I want to film several videos and I almost thought about, I was like, well, maybe I will um, film my, um, hold on a second, film my... Um, vlog when I get home and then I was like no I don't want to do that because um if I do that then um it'll be like super super short but now I'm making it super super short anyway so I guess it doesn't really matter does it I mean it's not gonna be super short it'll probably be like a half an hour or something I'm trying to find like the best picture to use on some of these people. Uh, the life of making thumbnails. I think we all know by now that my thumbnails are horrible, don't we? Um, so yeah, <clears throat> so we have our marriage counseling session at six o'clock tonight. And then, <clears throat> I don't know, um, I don't know what I will do after that. We might go get something to eat, um, or we might just come back here. We have some Real Housewives and stuff like that to watch. So yeah, we might watch some of those tonight. And I just want to make sure that um, everything was done before I left the house um, and that I came home and I was like, okay, everything's done and everything's completely all together and all that. So. I feel good about that, that I have it all done. All right, so that's that. And then let's see what else is going on. Nothing, I don't think I really have anything else exciting to say other than that. <laughs> My life is so exciting. Do, 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 do. You guys wanna know what I'm looking at pictures of? I'm looking at pictures of Manny and MUA. Beyonce, Cardi B. Hold on a second. Jojo Siwa. And Tana Mojo. These are all the people that. allegedly support um, James Charles ma Make a Blanche. That was what my drama video was about today. I'm sure you guys are like, uh, we could care less. <laughs> In all honesty, I could do. Now, it is kind of interesting to me though. I'm like, I can't believe these people are okay with all of this, but apparently they are. I don't know what to say. Oh, I also, last night, I started, um, last night I also started, um, my, what do you call it, um, Misfortune book. The new one. I can't remember what it's called. This person put out videos last. Okay, girl. You guys get to see like a life in the times of Peter Mon. You're probably like, um, yeah, this is, we could care less. <laughs> 
Tanya Jean's doing good. Talked to Tanya Jean today for, or yesterday for a long time. And was texting people. Nikki and I were texting about um, Big Brother and all of that. And are you guys watching Big Brother this year? Oh my God. I don't know if it's because, I look, a lot of people are like saying that they think that the cast is kind of boring this year and all that kind of stuff. I don't necessarily think that the cast is boring. I think it's already getting exciting. Sari from Survivor is on it, and I love her so much. She was in Traders too. Um, that was on Peacock. I loved that one. I don't know much about her from, um, from Survivor because I stopped watching Survivor a long time ago. But actually watching Big Brother last night, I was like, I think I might start watching Survivor again the next season that it's on. Tanya still watches it. Tanya's watched like every season of, um, Tanya's like, I've wa Tanya's watched like every season of, um, Survivor and Big Brother. She's watched them all. And now I'm like really into watching Survivor or watching Big Brother this year. I'm like so excited when I was like, because I couldn't, like I recorded it and it didn't show up on my, like my DVR. And so I, I messaged Nikki and I was like, was Big Brother on tonight? Because it wasn't like showing that it was on again until Wednesday. And <clears throat> she was like, yeah. She was like, it's on Paramount. And I was like, oh, okay. <clears throat> my allergies have been so bad, you guys. And so I went over to Paramount and it was over on Paramount and I was like, okay, this is cool. So, um, I hate making thumbnails. I'm so bad at thumbnails, you guys. I like need to take a course in making thumbnails is what I need to do. Um, I think I want to actually, so, um, I watched Big Brother last night. Like I said, like I am like loving Big Brother this year. I'm like so excited to watch it and that it's on TV. And that I'm like, I'm so glad that like Nikki mentioned it to me because I haven't watched it in forever. I don't know where to put this person. Like I said, I'm so horrible with thumbnails. Um, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm loving, um, this is not going to work. Beyonce's picture bigger. I'm loving, um, that's not a good picture, um, Big Brother this year. I think it's just the excitement of, like, you know, being back into something that I haven't watched in a long time. I used to watch it every year and I would get so into it. And it's been a long time since I have like watched it and like really got into it. I think the last time I did was like the all-star season of it. And even then I was kind of a little bored by it. Um, but like now I'm like super, super excited about it. I'm like, this is fantastic. I have such a hard time finding like really good pictures of people. Um, but other than that, like I don't really have a lot that I'm watching right now that I can, that I'm real excited about, which is kind of sad to me because <clears throat> much better picture. There you go. I needed to replace the battery on my um, 
on my, what do you call it, on my mouse like months ago and I didn't. So I started the Misfortune book. You guys are like, Peter, <clears throat> you are obviously so focused on getting this thumbnail done. Maybe you need to get the th 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 thumbnail done before you, instead of vlogging. Well, if I don't, then, you know what, actually, I think I'm gonna move this over here. If I don't do this, then I won't get this. Yeah, that's better. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. Um, if I don't get this done, then I won't have um, everything done that I want done, and I need to get everything done that I want done so that okay, so that I'm all ready to go. I've been like really into, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. <gasps> I don't know what you guys will think of this. You'll either think this is really corny or you'll be like, oh, that's kind of cool, Peter. <clears throat> so, I don't even know what was making me think about doing this the other night. It was something that I was watching or something I can't even remember, to be honest with you. But I was like, I was watching something where they were talking about um, like journaling or something. And I was like, you know, I haven't really like journaled in forever. And like, even when I did back in the day, it was kind of just like a press conference and stuff like that. And I was like, I think I want to, um, I think I want to like journal a little bit again, but I want to like my journal to like speak of who I am. And so I was like, I know my friend Valerie who watches my vlog, she's going to be like that whole period where you were filming or that you were filming, that you were doing the <laughs> Valerie. I know I'm so sorry to Valerie and to everybody else that annoyed. I just got my thumbnail done. She's going to be like that whole part where you were doing your thumbnail. Like, I don't know why you didn't just stop your vlog because I wouldn't have a vlog to post today if I didn't. <laughs> It's already 4.34, I should be in the shower already, but I'm not. But anyway, it hasn't come yet. It was supposed to come today. But I bought a, um, a sketch pad because I like, okay, so I like notebooks that have, do I have one over here? I think I do, actually, yeah, I do. So I like like notebooks like this, like steno notepads that have the spiral at the top. So I actually got online and I bought, oh, I think it was, I was watching um, The Heartstopper and it was the part where, um, Elle like takes out a notebook and she's uh, drawing in the museum at the Louvre. And um, I was like, oh, I would like to have something where like I can draw or whatever, you know, even though I, I, I don't draw well or anything like that, but just something to be kind of creative with, you know? And so I got on Amazon and I found this, um, I'll probably do like a whole dedicated video to it because it's so corny that I'll just want to talk about it. But anyway, I bought this like a uh, sketch pad of like a drawing sketch pad, but it's like that size, exactly. It's like exactly like this size. And it has like the spiral, it's hard bound, but it has like, cause this is not hard bound, see? But it's gray on top of it. But it has like the spiral at the top. And then I also bought a bunch of fine tipped Sharpies because I love Sharpies so much. As you can see, I have all of these Sharpies right here. But I love like the, uh, the fine ones that are like pens. Do I have any here? I don't, they're in the kitchen, I think. Um, but I bought these, like, all different colors of, like, these fine, um, fine end, whatever, they're just like, you know, whatever, uh, felt Sharpie pens. And I thought that what I would do would, is that, instead of doing, like, a journal where I just, like, journal about my life, I would make a happiness journal. I know, it's kind of corny, right? But, like, every day, at the end of the day, what I would do is, 
I would go in there and I would put like the date and then I would just like put like special things down there that like made me happy that day, right? Like um, I had a really good cup of coffee or I got to talk to my neighbor or she brought me tomatoes or we had a great marriage counseling session and then I would draw like some little picture next to it or whatever. And that would be my way of like remembering like all the positive happy moments that happened throughout my day. But then just start keeping it like a journal of it like every single day or days that I remember to do it. I thought that would be kind of cool, you know, because I've been wanting to do like a gratitude journal for a long time and I may start doing that as well. Um, I always get like so like when like school starts and whatever, I start like wanting to buy like school supplies and I start like make, I've been making a lot of lists lately of stuff, like lists of things I want to do and lists of this and like my goals for this day and my goals for this week and whatever. I've been making a lot of lists, right? And so I'm like, um, to do that, I like to buy like notepads and stuff. I know it's kind of corny, but like you can see I'm like totally into like all of the, the office supplies, like the post-its and I have like these two pens sitting right here. These are like the black pen that I use and the Sharpie that I use every single day. And um, I just love like, you know, school supplies and stuff like that. So, and um, here's my, I have literally right now in front of me, I have four pairs of reading glasses. I don't really like any of those new reading glasses that I got, but I also have this 2023 diary, Peter Mon, that's like where I keep all of my appointments in. Um, so, I think that I am going to um, do that. And then I also might start making a gratitude list and a gratitude notebook every single day. Like, that's one of my goals. So, I'm real excited about that. What do you think about that? Do you think that's corny? Do you think that's good? Do you think that's stupid? Oh, look, my review video is done. Today, I reviewed mini ice cream cones. So, let me get all of this up and going. My nose is like itching like crazy today. Da, 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 da. I promise I'll still talk while I'm doing this. Now this kind of stuff I can multitask too. I really wish that there were a bunch of um, really good true crime documentaries that we're on right now because I'm like dying to like I don't know I am like in such a true crime documentary phase in my life right now I kind of go through phases where like sometimes I can't um, watch them because they're like too dark or whatever but like right now I am like really really into them and um, hold on a second Trader Joe's mini ice cream cones ice cream I'm tagging this video. My tags are horrible as my thumbnails are. But anyway, um, I'm like really into the true crime documentaries right now, but there just really aren't that many great true crime documentaries that are out. And I'm kind of like not happy about it because I'm like, I'm really into it right now and I want to watch them, right? But there's just not that many good ones. And I'm like, come on, come out with some good true crime documentaries so I can watch them. I mean, I have a couple that are on my list. I actually went through, um, what was it that I was looking through? It wasn't Max. It might have been, it wasn't Paramount. I can't remember what it was on, but I started like putting them on my list and saving them. Sometimes the ones that are like kind of more amateurish or like are just like an hour and 10 minute episode or an hour and 20 minute episode of like a larger series, but they're about one thing. Like sometimes I really enjoy those. So, I don't know, we'll see what I'm gonna watch, but I'm kind of like wishing that like something big would come out. Cause I really, really like the true crime documentaries as y'all know. It just kind of like, today feels like it's fall again. It feels like it's back to school. I know like a lot of schools are starting. Like this is like their first full week back to school. There my review video is up. Um, this week is like the first full week for a lot of people going back to school and, um, like a lot of them started last week and had one day, a lot of teachers, I've had actually kind of a few teachers like comment on my, um, on my videos and say that like they have to go back to school, like the schools are going back to school and then, um, 
or the, the schools are starting and then the teachers are starting and then the students come like later. But I think like for a lot of my friends, like whose kids like started like late last week, like Thursday or Friday was like their first day and like this is their first full week. It doesn't seem bizarre. I mean, it's August 7th and um, kids are already like back. It stopped and I didn't even realize it. But I don't feel like summer is over already, do you? I don't want summer to be over. There's probably like a lot of parents out there that are like, um, no, I don't feel like school summer is over at all, at all. And in fact, summer is just starting for me because my kids have been um, here all summer and now they're back in school. It is adult summer. So there are probably some parents out there that are really enjoying it. I also feel like parents do so much um, for their kids now um, not that, like, our parents didn't do stuff for us back in the day, but I feel like, like, I have, like, so many friends of mine whose kids are, like, starting, like, kindergarten or first grade or second grade or whatever, um, and, like, they do, like, like, they have the boards that they hold up that will say, like, you know, their age and their grade, and they take the picture, and they have a special outfit, and they do all this kind of stuff. It's, like, the graduations for, like, kindergarten and, like, second grade or first... I mean, like, we never had those graduations when I was growing up. I don't know. Maybe it was just the schools that I went to, but we never had those graduations. I feel like parents... I mean, like, I had the baby book. I have it, like, right over there. <laughs> but, like, I think I actually showed it once in one of my videos, but, like, we had, like, the baby book and stuff like that, but other than that, it wasn't like we, I don't know, I just don't remember, like, I mean, I can remember my mom, um, you know, making a big deal out of the first day of school and all that kind of stuff, you know, and, like, the outfit that I would wear, and she'd be so excited. I don't necessarily feel like that's the way, like, I, we would always go, like, school clothes shopping, and I was always so excited about school clothes shopping. I don't feel like that's as big of a deal today as it was back in the day, um, I feel like a lot of kids just wear whatever they want to wear and it's still hot outside and stuff like that, which I totally understand. But I feel like back in the day, like school clothes shopping was like such a big deal. And so there it would be like, you know, the end of August and it would be so hot outside. And I would be like wearing like corduroy pants and like a flannel shirt and a sweater. <laughs> like on the last, because I wanted to wear my cutest outfit, you know. I did always like cute clothes when I was growing up. So I'd wear like, you know, corduroy pants and a flannel shirt and like a sweater on my first day of school and it'd be so hot. You know, I can remember like rolling up my sleeves and taking off my sweater like afterwards and just couldn't wait to get home and like have shorts on and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, <sighs> but it does kind of make me sad that like kids are going back to school so early and it does kind of make me feel like to some degree like summer is over. And so, I mean like the state fair just started and like kids are already back in school, you know, for like, I, like I said, I know, like, the, a lot of the parents like it. A lot of my friends that are teachers don't necessarily like her. that school administrators are like, I can't believe we're going back to school so soon. Um, but I know that a lot of, like, you know, parents and stuff like it. And they're like, oh, I'm, like, so thankful that, when, like, school started. But a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't. So, all right, you guys, listen. I'm going to get this video up, and then I'm going to go jump in the shower because, oh, my God, it's 445. So, I need to get in the shower and start getting ready. And, like, this vlog was a little bit shorter today. Like I said, August uh, vlogs might be a little bit shorter. Yesterday's was an hour and a half. Well, hello. An hour and a half vlog. And I apologize for being uh, multitasking and... and just kind of like having you guys sit there while I was just like doing some stuff. So anyway, but I wanted to make sure that I got something up today. So anyway, um, let me know what you think about my happiness journal in the comment section below. Also, let me know any true crime documentaries that you guys think I need to watch, if they're good or not. And I hope that you guys are having a magically amazing Monday and a fantastic beginning to your week and a magically amazing beginning to your week. And um, like I, you know, I hope everything's going well. And also, if nobody else has told you this today... I love you. And remember these three very important things. One, you can start your day over whenever you want. Two, practice random acts of kindness, but shh, don't tell anyone. And three, most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody and let them know how much they mean to you. Like I always say, you might be putting a smile on their face. You might be making them happier. You might be making them feel not so all alone. And you might be making their day. You don't know. You just don't know. And also, be kinder to one another. Love one another a little bit more. And most importantly, be kinder and love yourselves a little bit more. Because why? It all starts with you. And if you're kinder and you love yourself, then you'll be kinder and love others as well. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Oh, and don't forget, if you need to start your week over, not just your day, you can start your week over as well. Did I already say that? I don't think so. Maybe I did. I don't know. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.
Love ya.